It's the Full Force News Burst, brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Big Bad Toy Store listings have just revealed Wave 2 of Super 7's G.I. Joe reaction line. Big Bad Toy Store just posted listings revealing the next wave of Super 7's G.I. Joe reaction line and there are quite a few interesting choices in there. The huge online toy retailer dropped the listings with descriptions of the characters but no images. The list includes Arctic Bazooka, presumably from his appearances in Pyramids of Darkness and the movie. Duke, Lady J, Storm Shadow and Major Blood, presumably in their standard gear from the cartoon. A Games Master toy soldier from the episode The Games Master, in which a twisted tycoon captures Flint, Lady J, Baroness and Cobra Commander, who must work together to escape the life-size toys that are attacking them. And three different Cobra shock troopers, who I'm guessing are those awesome space troops that Destro sends to the satellite in the Mass Device miniseries, although there are three different versions of those figures listed, A, B and C, which would suggest skin tone variations. It wouldn't be necessary on a shock trooper because they appear fully covered up in the cartoon, so they could be something completely different, but I'm excited to find out. As well as all those, the listings included a bevy of blue shirts, three bearded in different skin tones, three clean shaven, again with three skin tone versions, and moustached in three different skin tones. That's a lot of blue shirts, who I imagine are Cobra Troopers without all their gear, but they could also be those background G.I. Joe pilots as well. There are some really out there choices in this wave which I love, including that Games Master Toy Soldier which I'm sure will get his master in the future, either with a bigger exclusive set or as a single figure, and the Arctic Bazooka who almost certainly will be modelled after his appearance in Pyramids of Darkness, but it does give me hope for some movie based figures in the line going forward. They are looking at a first quarter 2022 delivery date and each figure will cost $17.99, links in the description. Considering they are not that far off, I would imagine an official reveal with images from Super 7 is not too far away, so keep it locked on their socials to find out. What do you guys think of these choices, and who would you like to see in the line in the future? Do you think my suspicions are correct regarding the Shock Troopers and Blue Shirts? And if not, who do you think they will be? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force